Hello everybody, Travis Chandler of Chandler Gaming, back here with the next episode of Mass Effect 2 with the Soldier Series. Before we get in the video, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on those notifications so you can be notified of all my videos. That being said, let's get down to it. All right, last episode we went to Jachanka. We dealt with everything there. Borden and Grunt needed help. So now, we're back home. Yeah, I was going to say, she better be feeding my fish. You know? Grunt. Grunt. And he's over here. That's where he is. Bird not grunt. I like it. I have a clan. That makes me... It makes me want to fight, not just able to. And Uvink, I wanted to disembowel him. To tear out his spine like a trophy. We started this because you were losing control. Now you sound more violent than ever. Rex said I was normal. Just had this built-up stuff because of being grown in the tank. Now that I know it's not an outside thing, and I have a place as a Krogan, I like it. Our enemies are in trouble, Shepard. And we'd better not run out of targets. I'm not planning on living like this forever, Grunt. Talk like that, and it won't be your choice. I'm sure as hell not quitting with a whimper. Just so you're clear where we stand. Okay. Then we'll talk to Morton, and then we'll head on to Ilium. That's what we're ready to do. We'll deal with everything there. There's four things to do there. We'll do all four. This episode may take me a good bit of time, but yeah, we'll we'll do all four. Okay. Well, we're getting flag. There we go. Still hard to believe Malin betrayed me. Betrayed my work. Disgusted by his actions. Proud of his nerve, though. Always thought he lacked backbone. Hope he finds something new. Better goal, better purpose. Fewer torture tests. What about Malin's data on the genophage? His attempts at a cure? What about it? Have it over there somewhere. Not dealing with it now. Need to focus on collectors. Not important now, regardless. Appreciate you helping me back on Tuchanka. Should get back to work. Wasted enough time already. Lots to do. Talk later. Okay. <laughs> okay. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you... Okay. But here's a message from the Quarians. We saved that Quarian. They're like, oh, thanks for saving him. You know, this will be remembered. Um, From the Shaman, he's like, damn. Um, That's awesome that you was able to help Grunt through his rite of passage and you took down that Thresher Maw. That is badass, man. And then, um... One of the quarians from the fleet is like, Oh, I was digging around the, um... Alari. And found out what Tally's father was doing. But anyway, we'll just move on here. Okay, I know we don't have a lot of money, but that's, you know, 
what can you do? You know? But as you can see, we have four things to do here on Ilium. And I'm sure there's some side missions here, too. We gotta do. I'm sure there are. Um... But we'll see about getting some money doing the uh, side missions here. I have detected an anomaly. Oh, there's an anomaly. Okay. Okay. Not on our scans, on our sensors. Um, we need to work on Morden, so we'll bring him out just to work on him. Die. Okay, cool. And that's what we'll do. We'll say, well, we won't have enough for it, but that's okay. Um, and we'll have enough for neural shock. Oh. Yet. We'll do neural shockwave just so we can have the area. Oh, I know this one. You follow the beacons. That's all you do on this one. To find whatever it is that's here. Yeah. This one's not hard to do. You just follow the beams of light. I'll show you in a second. You turn on the beacons and you find these beams of light and you just follow them. And this is the fog they're talking about, so... Okay. Trouble ahead. That the only one? It looks like it. Okay, we go that away, but isn't there something over here? There is. Raw material, we'll take it. Just some platinum, but we'll take it. Not like I need it, but eh, I'll take it anyway. <laughs> there we go. And you can't use the nav point. You have to follow these beams of light. If you get lost, follow them, but it's really kind of a straightforward way to go. Um, let me make sure real quick. Why were they here? I don't know.
Okay, and then we're gonna go back and take that little branch way. I I don't know um, if that just leads to an item or which it does. And that's all it leads to. But where? That all that's down here? It is. Huh. Okay. But hey, I'll take the experience for killing the bug, so... Bastard. Okay. Got some raw materials over here. We need the yoink. And I'll take that clip. And up here, there we go. It's been a while since I've done this. Yep, and then we're out of the fog. Yep. And then, yep. I thought that was the last one. No, it's not. It's further. And we go back into the fog. Okay. Where are you going, Miranda? Yeah. There we go. We got some blood pack here. That's all there was up here, bastards. <laughs>
There we go. Miranda went up and attacked him head on. Okay, and we got to the last level. 30 is the cap in this game. So... That'll give Shepard enough. Or I don't think it'll give Shepard anything, actually. We got all the ammos maxed, because um, I wanted to get them unlocked. For bonus powers. Okay, so we found a um, blood pack facility. Um, Cerberus wants us to deal with it. And that um, scout we found, he's like, oh, I'm fucking every human I can find. Or not every human, but every Krogan that I find. Okay, but we're gonna hang out here and we're gonna see about looking around. Okay. Okay. Launching probe. Probe launched. Okay. Only half our fuel remains. Gonna make it? I think so. We are. Look at that. We made it. <laughs> Another anomaly. Here we go. Probe away. Something on our sensors. Oh, we have Eclipse to deal with. Maybe Jack? We haven't brought her out in a while. We haven't brought Kasumi out in a while either. OK. 
Okay. We'll do your overload. We'll do area for you. That way we can do multiple targets. There. Okay, yep. We got our fire ammo on. Is this the one where we got to go down in the pit? Just a shipping log. Okay. Oh, is this the one that we blow up? Do we blow up this facility? And we just kill the enemies. No, 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 that's not it. There we go. That's how you deal with those clowns. Okay, so the Eclipse came in, they're pretty much killing everybody, and we need to take out the Eclipse. Get rid of these Vanguards, there we go. Go to you. Now you see me. There you go. Oh, it's right here. Right here. You. 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 This tells you where everything is. Um, we need to decrypt the info here while we're doing that the eclipse are gonna come in because they're pissed off that we're taking their shit need to move to a better spot she's there we go yeah, I need to move a better spot because I am not getting...
I wasted a whole fucking clip on that guy. I didn't get him. There we go. We got him, though. We got him. That all of them? We go back to the... Data in the mainframe here. Okay. That's all we needed from here. Okay, why we're still gaining experience, I have no clue, because we're at max level, so. That was the only thing I hated this game, was the max level was 30, not 60. They changed it back to 60 in Mass Effect 3. But I think the gunplay is so much better in this one, but they refined it in 3. Okay. Now we can head on back. We'll deal with that blood pack facility that they're freaking out about. Once we fill up on stuff. There we go. And this is where we're going. Okay. I'm so glad I got one probe resource that mod installed. I mean, this it makes it so much more enjoyable to do this. Fuck looking around the entire planet and finding the spots and wasting all those. Pro Fuck that, man. Take the resources first. Then we'll land. <laughs> Do I need the resources? No. Um, Miranda and Jack. We haven't taken Jack out in a while. Okay. I'm 
I'm not changing because I'm not setting Shepard back up. I'm sorry, but I'm not doing it. Okay, yeah, I, this is the one I was thinking about where you destroy the facility. It's you destroy the base. Yeah, okay, I see. Okay. Now we got to go down this way, maybe. See if I can... Perfect. Boom! Didn't know there was a heavy down there. Okay. See if I can even get to him. There we go. Do I need to kill every single enemy? No, but I do it anyway because it's fun. Take my meta gel back. Bye bye to you. Bye bye to you. Where are they at? Oh, oh shit! A pyro! Well, there was a pyro. There we go. Yeah, we go in there. I want to check over here. Make sure there isn't anything. Just ammo. Get rid of that sucker. Get rid of you. Whoa, whoa. Nope. Kill you. Kill you. You, you. Come on, we need to leave. Pepper, get moving. Okay, and we got heavy weapon ammo. Like we really need it. <laughs> All you get is more capacity for it, but still, I well, I mean, it is useful, I guess, but still, not like I need it. But I'll do it anyway, cause why not? You know. Yeah, yeah, Kelly. There we go. No messages for you, Commander. Okay. Okay. 
You've been dealt with. Okay. Yep, you're at a hundred percent. Okay. There we go. We got the blood pack closed down. So now we'll just explore around here real quick. Launching probe. Probe away. Okay. 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 Now finally to Ilium. And it doesn't matter who you really bring. We'll bring Garrus. We should probably bring, um... We should probably bring, uh, Pally too. I don't know if you get a bonus, um, get a bonus dialogue from Liara if you have both of them in the party. Welcome to Nosastra, Commander Shepard. We've been instructed to waive all docking and administration fees for your visit. My name is Karina. If you need information about the area, it would be my pleasure to assist you. Who instructed you to waive the fees? The order came from Liara Tassoni, who paid all fees on your behalf. She also asked that I direct you to speak with her at your convenience. She's near the trading floor. Thank you. Again, welcome to our city, Commander. Please enjoy your stay. Okay. Okay. Black Squad, we're gonna take you definitely. We'll bring out Jacob. We haven't had Jacob out in a while, so Alright. Cause we're gonna actually do um Miranda's mess or Miranda's mission first. Blah, 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 if I could speak. Shepard, I saw your... I guess you would say your aura. I'd recognize you anywhere. I was asked to give you a message if I saw you. It's from a friend you made on Novaria. What message were you asked to give? Shepard, we hide. We borrow. We build. But we know that you seek those who soured the songs of our mothers. When the time comes, our voice will join with yours. 
and our crescendo will burn the darkness clean. Thank you, Shepard. The Rachni will sing again because of you. How did you possess another Asari? You can't just take over people's minds like that. Peace, Shepard. The Rachni Queen does not control my thoughts. That was merely the message I was asked to deliver. I encountered her on an uncharted world. She saved my life. More than that, she gave me a purpose. They are an amazing people, Shepard. The galaxy owes you a great debt for giving them a second chance. Yeah. Thank you for giving me that information. I'm glad my friend in Averia is doing well. Be well, Commander Shepard. You will not see me again. Okay. Welcome. You look like someone who needs high quality equipment. Feel free to look around. My store has the best tech and biotic equipment on Ilium. Is everything here so expensive? I plan to drop a lot of credits today. Really? I'm outfitting a team for a dangerous mission. I need the best and I'm willing to pay for it. As long as you work with me. Well, perhaps I could give you a preferred rate at the kiosk. Here, a small discount. And when I get special items in, you can take a look. What kind of special items are we talking about? Oh, you know, schematics, designs. Nothing illegal, but I may not have all the licenses to sell them. I'll have a look around. Take that bypass module. There we go. Oh, just enough to buy the whole armor set. Look at that. <laughs> Shepard, the news said you were dead. What happened? No, wait, probably classified. Forget I asked. You just have to lie. It's been a couple of years. I'm Gianna Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. You helped me nail Administrator Analeas. Happy to help. What happened to Administrator Analeas? He made the one mistake Novaria won't tolerate. He got caught taking their money. He's doing a few years in white collar prison. More importantly, he won't work in the field again. Sit down. If I remember right, I owe you a beer. What brings you to Ilium? You know, that you can talk about. You ever heard of the Collectors? They're attacking human colonies. I'm gonna stop them. Damn, Shepard. For me, a tough job involves more paperwork. Hey, listen, I just remembered something. I've gotta go. Talk to you later. And don't forget to drink your beer. Okay, so she needs us to ha help her with another arrest. That's what we're gonna do. Welcome back. Just so you know, your discount is still good, and I'll let you know about any special items that might hold your interest. Do you have anything else? Anything not listed on your main merchandise kiosk? Well, there is one thing. Very advanced design. Not publicly available yet. That's because it's still in development on Avaria and illegal for export. Hello, Hermia. Parasini, you set me up. But this isn't Novaria. You don't have the authority to arrest me. I don't care whether you go to jail. I've got all the evidence I need to find you out of business. Do you have the authority to seize the schematic she's trying to sell? I don't have to. Hermia was under suspicion. We leaked a faulty device to her. All this thing will ever do is blow up in your face. I, I need to go. I have to talk to my lawyer. Talk fast, Hermia. When the fines hit, you won't be able to afford him. Ah, oh, that was good. I've got to go file a few papers. Come by my table when you've got a minute. Okay. 
Hermia is going to be a very poor woman very shortly. Thanks for the help, Shepard. I love nailing Asari. So ageless and superior. Then you get them and they squeal like schoolgirls. It must be nice having a job that you really enjoy. I wanted to be a cop or C-Sec, but my family had bills. I needed the money a corporate job brought in. Besides, in this job, you don't see things that make it hard to sleep at night. White collar crime is nice and clean. Hell, at least this time I didn't have to wear heels and a dress. It's been a pleasure, Gianna. You too, Shepard. See you around. Okay. Oh, hell with it. Mwah. Much better than an autograph. Take care of yourself, Shepard. Okay, so since we don't have any credits, we're not going to go to the other, um, we're not going to go to the other, um, kiosks yet. I'm going to have that asshole arrested. Watch yourself if you go in there. Some human is causing trouble. He's demanding that I sign the place over to him. Is there anything I can do? Oh no, that crap might fly on Omega, but this is Ilium. I'm hooking up security cams now. If he or anybody else causes trouble, I'll have their asses arrested. You're really holding out on me? You want to see how far I'll go? I learned how to shove a gun in people's faces from... Commander Shepard? Hey, if you know this idiot, can you rein him in before I slap his ass with a singularity? Shepard? Is it really you? It's me, Conrad Werner. We met on the Citadel? I wanted to become a Spectre? Oh, uh, and then you shoved a gun in my face? You showed me what it meant to be truly extreme. I learned that lesson well. So you're alive, huh? I hear it goes like that in the biz. Why don't you sit back and watch how it's done? I got some asses to kick. Conrad, why are you acting like me? What, are you crazy? I'm nothing like you. I'm not a specter working for the council. I'm on my own, backed only by my wits and my nerves. No rules, no laws, just whatever it takes to get the job done. I'm not like you at all. How did you get that armor? Oh, they make some pretty convincing replicas these days, if you're willing to pay. Getting the whole getup was pretty expensive, but my wife was really supportive. She even paid for my shuttle fare off world. <laughs> Why were you trying to get the deed to this place? This place is actually a front for a red sand dealer. I need to take it over to crack the ring. What? Who the hell told you that? The owner of that weapon store near the carport? She's an undercover cop. She told me about it when I introduced myself. Listen, crap for brains. First, we don't sell red sand. Second, red sand is legal on Ilium. You just need a license. I'll talk to this undercover cop and figure out what's going on. Thank you. If I kill annoying customers, it usually causes property damage. That comes out of my pay. Just let me know if you need any help, Shepard. Okay, we won't do it now. The Asari are how advanced? And this is what they do with it? Money is still power. Same old, same old. We'd do the same if we could. So then he says, Oh, it's okay. Our amino acids are all different. So it's not like we can get diseases or anything if we go naturally. I forgot. We need to get the, the packages, don't we? Ms. Lawson, I'm glad you've made it. We've had a complication. What happened? Is Ariana all right? She's fine, but you listed a man named Niket as your trusted source. He contacted me, warning that your father has sent Eclipse mercenaries to make a sweep. He suggested that the mercs might be watching for you personally. He's offered to escort Ariana's family to the terminal instead. It's your sister, Miranda. What do you want to do? Lentea, we'll follow Niket's suggestion. Shepard and I will take the car and draw their attention. Have Niket escort the family to the shuttle. Give him full access to the family's itinerary, just to be safe. 
Understood, Ms. Lawson. So the plan is for us to get shot down by Eclipse while your sister gets to safety? Eclipse will be under orders to take my sister alive. They won't risk anything that could kill us. I'm ready whenever you are, Miranda. Thank you, Shepard. I appreciate this. I hadn't planned on Eclipse, but they never planned on you. Right? Mr. Jacob's gonna help us out with this one. Just to open that up. There we go. Full field, that's what we'll do with you. All right. That kidnapped our boss's little girl. Kidnapped? This doesn't involve you. I suggest you take your men and go. Think you've got it all lined up, huh? Captain Inyala's already moving in on the kid. She knows about Niket. He won't be helping you. You're not getting Miranda's sister. If you push this, it'll go badly for you. Captain Inyala ordered us to give you one chance to walk away. This whole time we've been talking, my men have been lining up shots. When I say the word, we unleash hell on your squad. So I suggest you walk away nicely. Unless you... They see you, Shepard. Yeah, they may see me, but... There we go. Radios. I'll patch us in, see if I can get an idea of what we're up against. Shepard, I think I owe you an explanation. Ariana is my twin, genetically. But my father grew her when I was a teenager. She was meant to replace me. I couldn't let my father do to her what he did to me. So I rescued her. She's almost a woman now. Why didn't you tell me that we were saving a kid? She's not a child. She'll be 19 this year. But, well, it didn't seem relevant at the time, I suppose. 
There are people who'd use her against me. I'm very protective when it comes to Oriana. I'm sorry I didn't trust you sooner. You deserved to know. If Eclipse knows where Oriana is, they'll be moving in on her soon. We need to hurry. Agreed. I'm a bit worried by what the Merc said. If they've got to Niket somehow, this is going to be harder than I'd planned. According to the specs I reviewed, we'll need to cut through the cargo processing yard to get to Oriana. Let's go find Niket and Oriana. Right. Guy. Love machine gun damage. Hell yeah. We'll take that. Oh. -ho. Okay, we'll take credits. Get up here, we need... All right. Boom. was a combat drone. I can't get them from here. I need a better spot. Really? Take that meta gel capacity as well. Take this terminal for three thousand credits. Thank you. 
There we go. Let's see if we can get that achievement. Yeah, okay, we're supposed to go behind, okay. Ducking to make sure we got something here. Okay. Okay, give me that ammo. Want ammo? Just saw something. Just the power cells, it looks like. Okay. I want the... Maybe the captain knows we're listening in and she's feeding misinformation about Niket making a switch. Or maybe it means something else. Niket wouldn't do that. Damn it, why would the thing go any faster? What makes you so sure that Niket wouldn't turn on you? He could have turned on me when I ran away. I'm sure my father tried to buy him off. If he didn't do it then, why would he do it now? You know him, Miranda. If you don't think he'd betray you, then I'm sure there's another explanation. I don't know, damn it. But I guess we'll find out soon enough. And then I'll have a word with this Captain and Yala. Listen to me. I've got authorization to change their booking. I'm sorry, sir. We're under security lockdown. Until the situation in the cargo terminal is resolved, no passengers can be rebooked. This isn't worth my time, Niket. I get paid regardless of how the girl gets there. No. I was told that I could handle this my way. We're not traumatizing the family any more than we... Miri. This should be fun. Niket, you sold me out. How do you want to handle this, Miranda? Why, Niket? You were my friend. You helped me get away from my father. Yes, because you wanted to leave. That was your choice. But if I'd known that you'd stolen a baby... I didn't steal her. I rescued her. From a life of wealth and happiness? You weren't saving her. You were getting back at your father. If you're working for Miranda's father, that means he knows about Oriana. We need to find a new solution. Miranda's father has no information about Oriana. I knew you had spy programs in your father's system, Miri, so I kept it private. 
I'm the only one who knows. Which means that you're the only loose end. This isn't how I wanted it to end, Niket. Miranda, wait. I don't want to do this. This has to end here, Shepard. My father will keep trying to find Oriana. Maybe Niket can help. Talk to your father. Just say you got here first. Oh, I'll tell him that you hit her. That I don't know where she is. I never want to see you again, Niket. Done. Now, if you don't mind, I have a shipment to deliver. You'll die for that, bitch! Nice job! I wonder why you're not taking as much damage. It's like, what the fuck? There she finally went down. Shit. Why are you down, Miranda? Shit. In trying to get this fucking son of a bitch but it doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to so nope I'm just not gonna be able to there's too many enemies there There is something here we gotta find. There it is, the trinket. Make sure you grab that trinket. My father gave me anything I ever wanted, but there was always a hook, an angle for his long-term plan. I threw away everything he ever gave me when I ran. Except Niket. Weakness on my part. You can't toss aside everything you care about just to be safe. It's okay, Shepard. My father hurt me, but he didn't break me. As much as he tried to turn me into exactly what he wanted, I'm my own person. You still have Orion. My father didn't give her to me. I rescued her, but yes, you're right. I still have something. Thank you. No sign of Eclipse. It looks like we're clear. There she is. She's safe with her family. Come on, we should go. Don't you even want to say hello? 
It's not about what I want, it's about what's right for her. The less she knows about me, the better. She's got a family, a life. I'll just complicate that for her. She doesn't need any details, but would it really be so bad for her to know she has a sister who loves her? I guess not. Go on, we'll wait here. There we go. That was helping Miranda get her sister to safety. Beans, we have a bunch of upgrades. We're going to go back to the ship and we're going to upgrade everything. I need to redo the armor anyway because the Kelsteel armor actually is better. Cerberus did to me was wrong. It wasn't Cerberus. Not really. But clearly you were a mistake. Screw you! You've got no idea what they put me through. Maybe it's time I showed you. Our mission is too important to let personal feelings get in the way. Fuck your feelings. I just want her dead. You both know what we're up against. Save your anger for the collectors. I can put aside my differences. Until the mission's over. Sure, I'll do my part. I'd hate to see her die before I get a chance to fillet her myself. You two gonna be okay? It's a good thing you came by when you did. As long as she does her job, we'll be fine. Thanks, Shepard. Okay. Thanks again, Shepard. Taking the time to help me with my sister. I couldn't have reached Ariana in time without your help. I'm glad Niket tried to redeem himself for what good it did. Thank you for stopping me, Commander. Are you happy about your sister's relocation? She has what I wanted her to have. A normal life and the freedom to choose her own path. And she knows she has an older sister. A friend. It's funny, I think of you as all business. Good to see that there's a person under there. The mission's too important to let personal feelings interfere. But thank you, Commander. My sister is safe again thanks in large part to you. I won't forget that. Okay. So now, like I said, I'm going to do upgrading and I'm going to go up the cabin and do the armor too. What does the recon do? Just weapon damage by five. We get head by five, weapon by three, and shield by three. Melee by ten, weapons by five, shield by three. We'll do that. Shields by eight, and melee by ten. We'll keep the offhand ammo pack.
And we'll do the life support webbing. So we can get the boost of health. Alright. There we go. Received a new message at your private terminal. Up, machine gun damage for piercing, meta gel, and that's it. Okay. We'll deal with the messages later. So we'll head back to Ilium. And like I said, we'll bring um, Tally and Garrus with us to see if we get the bonus dialogue when we talk to Liara. How much credits did I get out of that? Decent amount. Does living at a higher altitude make you more intelligent? Our report may surprise you. New data commissioned by the Architectural Union. We were always told that Alien is one of the safest places in the galaxy until you fell off the grid. Sign the wrong contract, join up with the wrong company, or walk down the wrong alley, and it's as dangerous as anywhere else. Don't let this place fool you. It's no safer here than Omega. Right? Okay, that trinket you picked up, you talk to this Asari and give it to her. Pardon me, I'm dealing with damn Ilium travel bureaucracy. Were you trying to get them to help you find this locket? Oh, Stephen, thank you. Thank you so much. My daughter was young when he died. This is the only memento she has of him. Please accept this. It's much less than I would have had to pay the bureaucrats to authorize a search. Are you shorting? Very few Quarians ever set foot here. Ilium doesn't allow the flotilla to approach beyond a certain distance. This is the greatest planet in the galaxy for those who can afford it. And they work hard to keep the Quarian fleet away. Right? Alien News would like to offer a clarification of our special report on notorious assassin, the Krios. While Ilium News... Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. I'll make it simple. Either you pay me, or I flay you alive. With my mind. Uh. Shepard! Nixeris, hold my calls. Shepard. My sources said you were alive, but I never believed. It's very good to see you. You have sources now? A few. Sources, contacts, even a little hired muscle. I've been working as an information broker. It's paid the bills since you... Well, for the past two years. And now you're back. Gunning for the collectors with Cerberus. That's not exactly public knowledge. Neither is you being alive, Shepard. Information is my business now. And if you need information on finding people, I'm happy to help. There's an Asari named Samara here on Ilium. Do you know where I could find her? Samara? Yes. She arrived recently and registered with tracking officer Dara. You can find Dara at the transportation hub. Why would Samara have to register with a tracking officer? Is she a criminal? No. In fact, she's quite the opposite. 
Samara is a Justicar, one of an ancient sect of Asari warriors. Dara can tell you more. Thanks for the help. That's all I needed to know. Of course. If there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. What about you, Liara? I could use your help on this mission. I can't, Shepard. I'm sorry. I have commitments here, things I need to take care of. What kind of things do you need to take care of? Are you in trouble? No, no trouble. But it's been a long two years. I had things to do while you were gone. I have debts to repay. Listen, if you want to help, I need someone with hacking expertise, someone I can trust. If you could disable security at key points around Ilium, you could get me information I need. That would help me a great deal. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, a server will open somewhere nearby for a short time. You can download data from there, if you hurry. Thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. I'll talk to you later, Liara. Okay. Oh, now we need to find data points. I don't think they're marked, are they? Yeah, I didn't think they were. I can't remember where they're all at, because I haven't done this mission a lot, but I do know how to do it, though. Since we didn't get any um, bonus, we'll there. Okay. I, I don't know where all the freaking points are, and I may not be able to do this mission because I just can't find them. I mean, it, it's like I wish they would just mark them on your map. Yeah, we're just going to skip it because I can't find it. I, I just can't find them. I, I don't know where the hell they're at, you know? And I wish they would have at least given you a hint on where they're at. Yeah, we're just going to have to skip it. Because I, I, I can't find them. I, I just can't. I can't I can't find them. They're not here. They're just not here. If they were, I'd have found them. I, I'd have found them by now. And...
See, this is what pisses me off about this bullshit about, oh, well, just go find it. No, that's bullshit. You need to give us a clue where the fuck it's at. Not fucking, oh, here, find it. You know? It, it's what pisses me off of these fucking newer games. They don't tell you how to play the fucking game. They don't tell you all the fucking rules. They don't tell you how to play the fucking game. love poems are getting on my nerves is that Krogan bothering you no no you don't need to hurt him or anything he's harmless which I know Krogan so it's hard to believe his name is Char we're kind of dating but well we're on a break and he's trying to show me how sensitive he is by well wooing me it's really bad I'll talk to you later it must grow thorns to pierce the hand of any that would uproot it. Why don't we wait? What about you? Talk to you. Can I help you with something? Never mind. Yeah, we're gonna have to wait on that one too. All right. non-poetry can i help you why are the two of you on a break he's serious serious as in talking about kids char is a great guy to date but for something permanent krogan's live long lives it's not like dating a human where you just stick it out for a century till they die uh no offense it made me wonder if he really you likes me or if he just wants last, kids last. he can't have them any other way you know because of the genophage. That sounds like a question you should ask him. I did. I don't think he realized that our kids would always have been a sorry. Not a sorry don't always get that we're not taking alien DNA. We're just using it to randomize some of the genetic information. Anyway, Char was quiet for a long time. Then he said that he'd love our girls no matter what color they were. You need to talk to your boyfriend. He's just going to keep shouting poetry until you do. I know, but it's tough. I like him a lot. Hell, I love him. But I don't know if he's permanent bond material. Look at him. He's obviously crazy about you. Is he? I mean, what if he just wants to have kids? Am I just his baby-making machine? He said I wasn't, but... If he said that, then you either trust him, so you have nothing to worry about, or you don't, and you've already decided. I, I guess I hadn't thought about it like that. And I do trust him, if he said it. I'm going to talk to him. Here, I've given you a discount at the terminal. Thanks for the help. Okay. For example, you know that new drug, the one that causes permanent neural scarring? That's horrible. There's a 12-page contract for shipping, then a waiver for use. There it is. All right.
to make sure there isn't I'm telling you relax Vax will never notice a few missing pieces no I can't get in because it's a crime scene it's all locked down Eclipse Mercs some Justicar I don't know nobody is ever going to see the extra merchandise which is why we're going to be rich Okay, nothing else here. Okay. Yep, nothing else here. Okay, like I said, I mean, I may have to give up on it because I can only find two of them and the other three, because there's five of them total and it's just so stupid that you look and look and look and you can't find them anywhere, you know? It's like, why can't they just mark them where they are, you know? I mean, that's all they should have done. It's not that hard of a fucking concept. But oh no, 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 it, it, that's just too fucking much to ask, I guess. And I may just have to look it up, too, but that's just what kills me for these fucking games. I cannot stand that I have to look shit up. I can't fucking stand it. I can't fucking stand that I have to look something up when I shouldn't fucking have to. I should just be able to play the fucking game and not have to look shit up just to fucking play the goddamn game. That's what pisses me off about these modern fucking games. They make this shit way much fucking harder than it needs to be. Like why? Why am I running around like a fucking idiot looking for this fucking thing? Jesus fucking Christ. It just makes me fucking mad to no fucking end because they think this shit's funny. Some... Goddamn American who made this fucking game is sitting there laughing their fucking ass off thinking this shit's funny. And it's not. This isn't entertaining. It's not fun. It's not funny. It's not nothing. But some jackass thought this would be fucking entertaining to look for fucking shit that isn't even on your goddamn map. Fucking hot and you turn on you fucking thing. Yeah, I'm telling you. I'm I'm telling you. The other three are not here. They're just not. They're just not here. They're not here at all. And it's like, why the fuck are they not here? Why are they not here? Why are they not here? It's good to see you again. So, what can I do for you? How's your own work going? Everyone needs information, Shepard. You want to know why I don't drop everything to join you? I need to get that data. It should be about friendship or trust. But that's not the way it works on Ilium. Let me know when you hack those terminals. Give me that. I had two of them! If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, a server will open somewhere nearby for a short time. Fucking A, damn it! Why the fuck? There, if you hurry. Thank you, Shepard. 
This may help me pay a great Shut the fuck up! I'll talk to you later, Liara. The fucking jackass makes this thing ten times fucking harder than it needs to fucking be! God damn it! Why am I looking this shit up? That's what makes me mad. More than fucking anything. I have to look up how to fucking do something. Why should I have to? Why should I fucking have to? Why should I have to look this up? It should just be on the fucking map. Where to fucking go and how to fucking do it. Jesus fucking Christ. Swear to God, I'd meet the son of a bitch who fucking made this game. I'm gonna fucking punch him. Fucking jackass. Why do I have to look where these fucking terminals are? Why should I have to? Why are they not appearing? That's what I want to know. Because I do remember doing this quest. And I do remember where they're at. But they're not fucking appearing. Why are you not loading now? God damn it. Why am I looking this up? Okay, why? 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 Why am I looking this up? This is why I ignore some of these side quests. Because I shouldn't have to look up how to do them. But oh, oh no, oh, oh fucking no, they're, they're not on the map, they're not nothing. Okay, that's bullshit. They say, oh, there's three of them. It's located near the tracking officer. Well, guess what? It's not there. Guess what? It's not there. It, it's not there. I, I guarantee you it's not there. I guarantee you. Because there's supposed to be five of them. But there's only three. Bullshit. Bullshit, 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 bullshit. Bullshit, 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 bullshit. Now where the fuck is this fucking thing? Don't give me this goddamn bullshit. Oh, well, it's here, it's here, it's here. It ain't fucking here. It ain't fucking here. If it was, I'd have fucking found it. Jesus fucking Christ. Fucking A. Hey, we're friends. I have never called you that. No, but you're thinking about it. You think it was easy growing up like that? I did some stupid things about our upcoming film, Blast of the Jellyfish.
Shepard, it's good to see you again. Thank you for getting me that system data. Here, it's not much, but hopefully it will help you on your mission. Do you remember the Shadow Broker? With the data you got me, I may be able to find information caches from his agents. Are you on the run from the Shadow Broker? I can help you. Actually, it would be more accurate to say that the Shadow Broker is on the run from me. We crossed paths not long after you died. Since then, I've been working to take him down. With this data, I'm a step closer. I've never seen you ready to execute someone in cold blood. What did the Shadow Broker do to you? I was on a job with a friend. The Shadow Broker's people caught us. My friend didn't escape. I don't know if he's dead or being interrogated. But I need to find him. I owe him my life. And I need to make the Shadow Broker pay for what he did. Let me know if there's anything else I can do. Thanks, Shepard. I will. Now, is there anything else I can help you with? I'll talk to you later, Liara. Okay, so that's just part one of her mission. Okay. Oh no, she's over here, I think, isn't she? Get away! No, she isn't. She is in there. Okay. Are you a Quarian or Volus who is tired of being passed over for promotions because of discrimination against exo suit wearing employees? I didn't mean. Okay, look, I'll take another look at the contract. Maybe it needs. No, I haven't had any luck yet. Shepard, I. I don't suppose you'd remember me. I'm Shiala. We met on Pharos during the Geth attack. Saren had given me to the Thorian creature as a slave, and you killed it and saved me. I promised to help Zeus Hope recover. I'm actually here on Ilium for just that purpose. How is Zeus Hope doing? We've done a lot of rebuilding. We even salvaged some useful material from the Geth ship you destroyed. The Exogeny researchers got called back to their headquarters, however, along with what was left of the Thorian. Is it Exogeny pushing colonists around again, or did the Thorian somehow survive our fight? No. Exogeny has been very supportive of Zeus Hope. They actually seem to want to help us survive, and the Thorian is dead. Though, after all you went through to kill it, I understand your concern. I fear that after our adventure on Pharos, my purpose on Ilium will seem mundane by comparison. Is there something I can do to help? I'd appreciate it. I've reached the limits of my diplomatic abilities, and I prefer not to start trouble. Some of the colonists had health problems as a result of the Thorian control. We hired a colonial survey group to do some medical scans, but... The medical contract apparently allows the company to perform invasive procedures without our consent. That's why I'm here. Wait a minute. Shiala, you were only green when the Thorian made you a clone. The real you was blue, like normal Asari. Those health problems, I said, were related to the Thorian control. This is mine. A few months after the Thorian died, my skin pigment changed. My biotic abilities are unstable as well. I'm also having vivid dreams about my time with the Thorian. It is disconcerting. I'll talk to the survey group. I appreciate it, Shepard. The Barrier Frontiers representative knows about the issue. I saw your conversation, human. You're here to complain about the medical contracts those colonists from Pharaoh signed. I suggest you leave. Your life is short enough. Do not waste what time you have bothering me. Why are you insisting on these tests? What use could they possibly be? 
Fair use is not your concern. A legal binding contract was signed. Nothing else matters. All of you. Humans. Salarians. Turians. You come to our planet, then complain that our laws don't suit you. The galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the Asari had ever dragged themselves out of the primordial muck. Why are you so prejudiced against aliens? <sighs> Where do I begin? With Salarian explorers unleashing the Rachni upon us, then unleashing the Krogan to correct their mistake? Or the Turians, so eager to bomb every problem away? Or humans, the new arrivals who already think they should be in charge? Every war that has plagued this galaxy has been caused by your people. My people's deaths are on your hands. Whose deaths are we talking about exactly? The mother of my daughters was killed on the Quarian homeworld during the initial Geth uprising. My daughters died on the Citadel when the Geth attacked. One worked in the embassy. The other was a greeter for the consort. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. Why was your bond made on the Quarian homeworld? Studying the Quarians. Not their technology, but their music. She loved all their art. Said they had old souls. I think that's where my daughters got it from. Both of them love talking with people, exploring new cultures. They sound like wonderful people. The galaxy is lesser for their loss. Yes, it is. Do you think they'd want you to do this? I, I'm not. I, I didn't. Oh. I'm sending an amended contract. No more tests, no fees. There's enough grief in this galaxy. I don't need to add to it. Did you get the star charts? Yeah. I had to deal with Arinya, though. I feel like I need a shower. What do you expect? She's a pure blue. You did it. I just got the revised contracts. Thank you, Shepard. You've saved Zeus Hope again. I don't think I could have... Is it always like this? Yesterday's problems lingering in some new form. Isn't anything ever just fixed? You've got the power to make a difference, Shiala. Not everyone does. You're right. You gave us a chance by saving the colony. I can't let them down. I won't. Thank you for what you've done here, Shepard. I'll keep doing what I can. Maybe sometime when I'm not organizing the colony and you're not doing whatever you do. Can I help you with something? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. Wait, why? Do you have a problem or did she kill somebody already? Relax, I just need to speak with her. Good. Samara's the first Justicar I've seen on Ilium. If I'm lucky, things will stay peaceful. She went to the commercial spaceport a few hours ago. If you want to get there, the pedestal on that balcony will summon a cab. Just be polite when you meet her. Justicars embody our highest laws, and they usually stay in Asari space. She's not used to dealing with aliens. Okay.
get Samara and get this done with. Where do you think you're going? I'm taking my goods to Omega, Detective. You're not going anywhere, Merchant. Not until I solve this murder. I had nothing to do with that. It was those mercenary thugs you can't seem to get rid of. The victim was your business partner, and I'm not ruling you out. I'll let you know when you can leave. What about that Justicar that just showed up? Everyone says she might go crazy and start killing. I need to leave. She'll only kill the unjust, so I'm sure you have nothing to worry about, Pitney Four. Find me in the station if you need me. What do you want? I've already got mercs wanting to kill me like they did my partner. I don't need any more trouble. As if that weren't enough, some Asari Justicar showed up this morning. All the natives are scared of her. I've got to get off this world. Has Samara actually done anything yet? The Asari say that Justicars are lethal in a fight. And if they so much as smell corruption, they start shooting. The thing is, corruption isn't that hard to find around here. Tell me how to find the Justicar. She's in the alley where my business partner was murdered. A detective sealed the area, so you'll have to talk with her if you want to go there. I should go. Nice guns. Try not to use them in my district. What can I do for you? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. If you've got a score to settle with Samara, take it somewhere else. I've got more than enough trouble here already. I need to recruit Samara for my mission. Then we'll be on our way. Justicars usually work alone, but they are drawn to impossible causes. Best kind. If you're getting her out of my district, I'll get you to her ASAP. She's at the crime scene. You're letting her into a sealed crime scene? I'm a cop. I'll work with the Justicar all I can. Besides, she's been looking at crime scenes longer than our two lifespans combined. She knows how to handle herself. You're awfully anxious to get Samara out of your district. My bosses want me to detain her. They're worried she'll cause some kind of cross-species incident. But her Justicar code won't let her be taken into custody. If I try it, she'll have to kill me. I have no interest in dying, so if you lure her away with some big noble cause before I have to carry out my orders, I'm thrilled to help you. How do I get to the crime scene? It's around the corner. Go outside, take a left. Look for the police line. I'll send word to let you in. Be careful. The local Eclipse mercs have been all over those back alleys lately. I have to go. Good luck. We'd better find Samara before the detective goes after her. Okay. Anaya told us to let you through. Watch yourself. There's Merc activity back here. We're waiting on backup. Take those credits, I need them. What the fuck? Why am I getting fucking lag so fucking bad? You know what, I think I know why I'm getting the lag so bad. Probably that. 
Okay. There. Take you down, Justicar. <laughs> what was the name of the ship she left on? Go to hell. Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. My name is Samara, a servant of the Justicar Code. My quarrel is with these Eclipse sisters, but I see three well-armed people before me. Are we friend or foe? I'm Commander Shepard, and I need your help with a critical mission, Samara. You honor me, but I am in the middle of an investigation. I'm going up against suicidal odds, and I need the best. That's you. I sense the truth in what you say, and it humbles me. But I seek an incredibly dangerous fugitive. I cornered her here, but the Eclipse sisters smuggled her off world. I must find the name of the ship she left on before the trail goes cold. I wish you were willing to go with the human, Justicar. I've been ordered to take you into custody if you won't leave. You risk a great deal by following your orders, Detective. Fortunately, I will not have to resist. My code obligates me to cooperate with you for one day. After that, I must return to my investigation. I won't be able to release you that soon. You won't be able to stop me. There must be some way we can all get what we need. I see a way. While I am in custody, you find the name of that ship. Do that and I will join you. Then the code will be satisfied. Do you have any leads? The Volus merchant Pitney Four is tied to this. Eclipse Mercs are preparing to kill him. Get the truth out of him. He may know a way into the Eclipse base. Well, I've got to get back to my station. And I guess I've got to take you with me. Thank you, Shepard. Speak to the detective. Why are the mercs after you? I know nothing about any mercenaries, Earth Clan. I'm merely. An... Oh dear. Please put that away. I'll be cooperative, I swear. Tell me everything. I smuggled a chemical onto Ilium that boosts biotic powers in combat. It also is toxic. I may have, um, forgotten to mention that to the Eclipse, so they are perturbed and want to kill me. It sounds like you're a swindler and your actions finally caught up with you. True and true. But I haven't survived as a merchant this long without being able to tell when there's a deal in the making. You want something. The Eclipse recently smuggled someone off-world. I need the name of the ship she left on. I don't know about their people smuggling operations. They must keep records in their base. I do have a pass card they issued me to bring my goods in. Well, I, I had to return that one, but I happened to make a copy. Take it, but be careful. Each Eclipse sister commits a murder to earn her uniform. They are all dangerous.
they've seen it. Whatever works. There we go. Yeah. See, and I hate it. When you pick up a fucking weapon, you have to change your weapon back. And so because of that, now I have to put my shit back on. It just pisses me off. but I didn't really shoot. Whatever. Pretend to keep breathing. I'm not one of them. I'm new. I thought being Elnora the mercenary would be cool, but I didn't know what they were really like. You chose your side, Elnora. And you lost. Screw that bastard and screw you. You know what I might do? I might just map um, barrier to Y. But it doesn't seem like I can. There. Thank you. 
Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. But it's here we go. What, are we not going to fight the ship? Apparently not. Well, it's official. Little baby Elnora is finally a full-fledged Eclipse Merc. I earned my uniform last night when I killed that ridiculous Volus. A close exploding rounds. Blew the little bastard's suit wide open. <laughs> Next time I go home, my friends are going to be so jealous. Elnora was the killer. See, good that you shot her. Detective Anaya would be interested in this. Yes, she would be. There we got him. Bastard. Thank you. 
biotic god. I think things, and they happen. Fear me, lesser creatures, for I am biotics made flesh. You need help. You need help. For you stand before the mightiest biotic ever. Yes, the Asari injecting so many drugs into me was terrifying. But then I began to smell my greatness. They may laugh when I fall over, but they don't know what I know in my head. That I know that I am amazingly powerful. Fear me! Good luck with everything. Wait, Earth Clan. You're just in time to witness my crowning achievement. The leader of the mercenaries is in the next room. I shall toss Wasea about like a rag doll. Shepard, having this incapacitated Bolus running around our battlefield could compromise us. I will tear her apart. My biotics are unstoppable. Charge. An ill wind blows upon Wasea, captain of the Eclipse Sisters. After me! I don't know why that's so funny, sending the bulls in. Everything's gone to hell since we smuggled that filthy creature off-world. First a Justicar shows up, now you. At least I can take pleasure in turning your head into a pulpy mass! See, that was way easier because I have the Kelsteel stuff on. That's good for um, soldiers. That must be the ship Samara was looking for. You want to look around or go back? Let's give her the name and keep moving. the name of the ship. Your fugitive left here two days ago on the AML Demeter. Shepard, you impress me. You fulfilled your part of the bargain and I will fulfill mine. I am ready to leave immediately if that will satisfy your superiors, detective. You're free to go, Justicar. It has been an honor having you in my station. And it's nice you didn't kill me, too. The Normandy is docked near the main trading floor. I'll see you aboard. I must be sworn to your service so that I am never forced to choose between your orders and the code.
the code, I will serve you, Shepard. Your choices are my choices. Your morals are my morals. Your wishes are my code. I never thought I'd see a Justicar swearing roof like that. If you make me do anything extremely dishonorable, I may need to kill you when I'm released from my oath. I can see that this is a very important act, Samara. Thank you. Truly, the life of a Justicar can get lonely. I admit I am looking forward to serving with a company of honorable heroes. Shall we return to your ship? I need to speak to the detective. Thanks for getting Samara out of my district. I can tell my granddaughters about meeting a Justicar. And you've just upped my chances of living long enough to have grandkids. I have proof that Eclipse killed the Volus merchant. Let's see what you got there. Interesting. But I can't verify it. It would be inadmissible. I vouch for Shepard and any evidence he brings forward. I accept the judgment of the Justicar. Thanks, Shepard. I wasn't sure about trusting a stranger, and a human at that. But you came through. Never heard of this Elnora. Sounds like she was just starting her career. Good thing you cut it short. Okay, enough with all the congratulations. I've still got a spiraling crime rate. Okay. So we got Samara now. Welcome to the Normandy, Samara. We've studied your profile extensively. With your skills, I think you'll be an excellent addition to our team. Thank you. From an organization such as yours, that is high praise indeed. I've seen Samara's biotic powers at work. They're substantial. We still don't know what we're going to find when we hit the collectors. I will be prepared for whatever we encounter. Where shall we put you? A room that looks out on the great empty void would be most comforting. Put her in the observation room on deck three. Thank you. I must meditate on the day's events. 